Hi everyone, Dylan here from Noah's Ark at the Skirball. And today I'm gonna tell you a story. A story that's been inspired and adapted from one told by the Lenape, an indigenous group here in North America. And this story starts like many of these stories do, with a great big storm. The storm gets to be so bad that the animals are washed out of their homes, out into the water. They're swimming, swimming, trying to find a safe place until out of the water rises a huge, giant turtle. They climb on its back. And they start to feel a lot safer. But as they're sitting there, they uh, have time to think. And they think about all the things that they missed, like great tall mountains. Can you make some mountains? and fields of grass, and beautiful, colorful flowers. And as they're thinking of these things, they start to remember their old lives. And they start to miss them a lot. So they came up with an idea that they could swim down through all this water, that they could reach the bottom, they could grab some mud, and that the mud would be the reminder of their homes. So the first animal to volunteer was none other than the chicken. The chicken stepped forward and said, I've got this super sharp beak. Once I reach the bottom, I'll use my beak to huh, grab some mud, and then I'll come back up for all of you. I can do it. Ooh, let's try saying that together. I can do it. And with that, the chicken dove into the water, swimming and swimming and swimming, swimming and swimming until... <laughs> Chicken ran out of air and had to go back to the turtle shell. I'm sorry. I didn't know it was going to get so deep. I can't do it. Chicken couldn't reach the bottom. But not to worry. Another animal stepped forward. It was big and strong. It had paws and claws. It was the bear. Bear said, look at these paws, look at these claws. Once I reach the bottom, I'll use them to scoop up the mud and I'll bring it back here for all of you. I can do it. Let's try saying that together. I can do it. And with that, bear dove in. Swimming and swimming and swimming, deeper than the chicken. But as it got deeper, it started to get darker. Huh? 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 It got to be so dark, the bear couldn't even see the paws in front of him. Oh, 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 oh. He swam back oh, to the turtle shell and said, oh, 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 oh. I didn't know it was gonna get so dark. I'm afraid of the dark. I can't do it. Oh. Chicken couldn't do it. Bear couldn't do it. Animal after animal tried to reach that mud at the bottom of all this water, and none of them could do it. But then they heard a small voice, a little voice, saying, Hello? Hello? And when they looked down, you know what they saw? They saw a teeny tiny baby, a little baby muskrat. If you don't know, a muskrat is kind of like a beaver and a mouse sort of mixed together. And baby muskrat said, Um, hi, I can do it. They looked down at Muskrat and said, you? But, but you're so small, there's no way you're gonna reach the bottom. The, the bear couldn't even do it. Muskrat said, well, uh, you know what? I might be small, but I believe in myself and I know that I can do it. Let's try saying that together. I can do it. And before they could say another word, baby Muskrat dove into that water, swimming and swimming and swimming, getting deeper than the chicken. I can do it, I can do it. <laughs> and as it got deeper, it got darker. Um, um, oh, I can do it, I can do it. It swam and swam and swam and reached out its tiny muskrat paw until <gasps> it swam back to the turtle shell. They looked at the end of Muskrat's little finger and said, that, that tiny speck of mud is supposed to remind all of us of our homes? It's just too small to do anything. Uh. 
and they went to bed upset. But not that muskrat. Muskrat fell asleep feeling proud, proud of all the hard work that it's done. And when it fell asleep, ah, it dropped that piece of mud back into the water. And when it hit the water, it did something strange. It didn't sink. It started to float on top and it started to rumble. Whoa, it started to shake, whoa. And it started to grow all around this turtle's shell. The animals woke up and you know what they saw? They saw great tall mountains. They saw fields of grass. They even saw beautiful, colorful flowers. And they saw that tiny baby muskrat with a smile on its face. The muskrat said, well, I told you I could do it. And from that day forward, the animals remembered that even though you might be small, you can still do something really great. So think about your strengths. What are some things that you could do to help somebody else? Hmm. And uh, if you face a challenge along the way, be like the baby muskrat and remember, I can do it.